All right, so today in this video, we're gonna be looking about looking at customary units of length. We're gonna be converting these. You should have already cut out your notes from your page. You should have a chart that tells you that one foot equals 12 inches, one yard equals three feet, one mile equals 5,280 feet, and one mile also equals 1,760 yards. These are gonna be important things to remember. We are going to have to memorize them. So be ready to memorize those um, as you get ready for your test. Let's go ahead and move into our notes. So the first one says two miles equals how many yards? We know that one mile equals 5,000, oh, no, it doesn't, that's feet. One mile equals 1,760 yards. So if I wanna make it two miles, all I know, I know I need to multiply it by two. So let's go ahead and multiply 1,760 by two. Uh, so that's gonna get me two times zero is zero, two times six is two, two times seven is 14 plus one is 15, and that gives me three. So I know that Two miles equals 3,520 yards. And again, we knew that because one mile equaled 1,760 yards. So to make it two miles, we just multiplied by two. Let's go ahead to your second question. Six yards equals how many feet? So we know that one yard equals three feet. So we wanna know how many feet six yards equals. So all we're gonna do is multiply that six yards times three feet, because if there are six yards or three feet in one yard, we need to know how many feet are in six yards. We're gonna multiply our three times six. So six times three is 18. So we know that six yards equals 18 feet. Because there are three feet to a yard, we just multiply that six times three is 18. Let's do another one. 90 inches equals how many feet and how many inches? So for this one, we know that 12 inches equals one foot. So we're gonna have to figure out how many times 12 can go into 90. Some of you may already know, but some of you probably don't. So let's go ahead and multiply 12. Let's guess times eight. Two times eight is 16. Eight times one is eight plus one is nine. Oh, that was too high. Let's do 12 times seven. Two times seven is 14. Seven plus one is eight. That gets me 84 inches. So I know that 12 times seven is 84. So it's gonna be seven feet. But seven times 12 is 84. So I've got 90 inches minus 84 inches is gonna get me six inches left. So 90 inches equals seven feet, six inches. Let's go ahead and do another one. This one's very similar to the one we just did. So I'm gonna let you go ahead and tackle this one on your own and put your answer in the box. So for this one, 425 inches equals how many feet and how many inches? What I would do for this one is go ahead and divide. 425 divided by 12. I'm wondering how many times 12 can go into here to figure out how many feet I can pull out. 12 can go into 42. Ooh, how many times? Three times, that is 36. Let's subtract those. That gets me six, bring down the five. Five times, two times five is 10. Gets me 60, so I know 12 can go into 425, 35 times with five inches left over. So 35 feet, five inches is how we're gonna solve that one. Your remainder is how many inches are left over. So 425 inches equals 35 feet, five inches. Let's go ahead and check this one to make sure we have the correct amount. So first things first, we wanna multiply 335 feet, or th sorry, 35 feet times 12 to figure out how many inches that is. Two times five is 10, six, seven, zero, five, three, zero, 12, four. So 420 inches. I know that 35 feet equals 
420 inches. So that's why I have those five inches left over because if I add those together, I'm gonna get 425 inches. So 425 inches equals 35 feet, five inches. Let's try another one. 46 feet equals how many yards and how many feet left over? Go ahead and try this one on your own. So for this one, you should have done 46 divided by three because I know there are three feet to a yard. So we are going to do three and go to four one time. That's three. Bring down the six. That is five. So I know that 46 feet equals 15 yards, one foot. Again, let's check that 15 times three equals 45 plus the one, we equal 46. So 46 feet equals 15 yards, one foot. Remember, you can always back it up if you need to see the math again. Go ahead and try this one. 42 yards, two feet equals how many feet? So for this one, it's gonna be a little bit backwards because there are more yards, there are three yards to each foot. I need to multiply the 42 times three to figure out how many feet there are gonna be. Because one, uh, three feet equals one yard. So that means this number is gonna be much bigger than our number 42. So to figure out how many feet are in this yard, we're gonna do 42 times three. Two times three is six, that's 12, 126. We've got our two feet here, so let's go ahead and add our two. 128 feet. So 42 yards and two feet equals 128 feet. Let's do another one. For this one, you're gonna be comparing them. Eight feet or three yards, which is bigger? Go ahead and put your comparison symbol in there. All right, let's work it out. You can choose to turn the feet into yards or the yards into feet. I think it's a little bit easier to change your yards into feet, so let's go ahead and work on that. Three yards, we know there's three feet, three feet per yard. So three times three would be nine feet. So I know my eight foot is smaller than nine feet. So you should have less than, eight feet is less than three yards. Go ahead and try this one. Two miles is greater than, less than, or equal to 10,500 feet. So I know that one mile equals 5,280 feet. So to find out two miles, we just want to multiply that by two. So you should have multiplied that by two, but two miles equals 10,560 feet. So we know that is greater than 10,500 by 60. 60 feet off. And here is your word problem. Terry is making six hat and scarf sets. Each scarf requires two yards of material and each hat requires 18 inches of material. How many feet of material does he need for all six hat and scarf sets? I would turn all of this into inches and then back into feet. I think that would be easiest. Go ahead and try it out. All right, for this one, I think it's gonna be easiest to turn it into inches first. So each scarf, equals two yards. I know that two yards equals six feet because there's three foot to a yard. Now let's take that down to inches. Remember to take it to inches, I'm gonna multiply six times 12, or yeah, 12 times six is 72 inches. So each scarf takes 72 inches and each hat takes 18 inches. So let's multiply all this together, six hat and scarf sets. You know, I'm thinking maybe that's not my best idea. I bet I can leave my scarfs at feet and my hats at inches. So for six scarfs, I want to figure out, ooh, that's not how you spell scarf. I want to figure out what six feet times six is. And we know that six times six is 36. So that's going to give me 36 feet. Now for the six hats, I need 18 inches times six. So let's go ahead over here and multiply that out. 18 times six, six times eight is 48. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. That's 108 inches. 
So we've got 36 feet plus 108 inches. Let's go ahead and turn our 108 inches into a um, into feet. So what we're gonna do is 108 divided by 12. And this is one of those that you just have to know. So let's try 12 times nine, two times nine is 18. There it is. 12 can go on 108 nine times. So I know that 108 inches equals nine feet. So I'm gonna add my 36 feet plus my nine feet. Since it's a hat and scarf set, six plus nine is 15. That gets me 45 feet of material. I hope that's what you got as well. Remember, if you did not, raise your hand and ask a question so that I can help you understand what you did wrong. Go ahead and get started on your classwork.